my dear viewers we have studied and watched the videos regarding the working of a current transformer in a power system this is an image of a live tank outdoor city the tank at the top which carries course and windings is connected with live line it is an image of a dead tank outdoor city the tank which carries course and windings is insulated from live line this is a single core indoor city p1 and p2 are its primary terminals s1 and s2 are its secondary terminals these all city have a rating plate or name plate where different parameters are written clearly by the manufacturer for the purpose of proper selection of the city for a specific service in the power system a current transformer is used in power system to measure current flowing through any circuit and to protect the system from faults it has different cores used for different purposes but here we will start our discussion from top of this nameplate one by one in details in this episode we are going to discuss the nameplate parameters of a current transformer let's start please look into the nameplate of a city it is a city of 132 kv system we become informed by watching the words 132 kv current transformer written at the top of the plate it means nominal system voltage is 132 kb besides nsv nominal system voltage is written in many city nameplates next we see ref is 2705 1992 that means the city has been made as per reference standard bureau of indian standards 2705 of 1992 next we have hsb 145 kv means the rated voltage of the city corresponds to highest system voltage for which the city is intended the standard value of rated voltage here is 132 kv rms which refers to line to line voltage of three phase system it can also be expressed as nominal system voltage next we have frequency 50 hertz insulation level of a current transformer is designed according to the frequency of the operating system then we have the insulation level of city we have two values written as insulation level these are 275 kv and the second 650 kv the first value of insulation level voltage is called power frequency voltage should be in kv rms this voltage can rise due to phase to earth voltage load rejection ferro resonance ferranti effect the second value of insulation level voltage is called lightning impulse voltage here 660 kb 650 kb peak the voltage can rise due to the lightning strokes it means the city should withstand these voltages in case of occurrence of such faults next stc short time current here 
31.5 kilograms RMS per 3 second is mentioned at our CT template. It indicates that the CT is capable of carrying 31.5 kilograms RMS current under short circuited condition for 3 seconds without any damage to the CT. Next we have here rated continuous thermal current 120%. We know about rated continuous current. There is a difference between the rated primary current and rated continuous current. That is rated extended continuous current. The rated primary current is normal one in city, but the city is designed to carry more than rated primary current. It is capable of carrying up to 120% or 150% of rated primary current. Here, 120%. Next, we see year of manufacture, serial number and type. Type is also an important subject according to design aspect where it would be installed. Here, type outdoor oil cooled live tank. So, the CT should be installed at outdoor substation. It is oil cooled and it is live tank. Live tank means Top tank which carries windings and cores are connected with operating system voltage and insulated from bottom tank and structure. Next we see customer purchase order reference number with date. We have then core serial number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. It has 5 core in its secondary. In the first core, we see burden is 30 VA, that is 30 volt ampere. The maximum external load applied to the secondary core of the CT is called burden. In our case, we can connect maximum 30 VA load in the metering core of this CT with accuracy class 0.2. Next, we shall discuss about accuracy class of the city. We require accuracy class for metering circuit and protection circuit, that means protection class. Next, we see accuracy class of other four cores are PS. We have seen PS and PX classes in the nameplate of other cities that denotes the classes are suitable for differential protection. 5P10, 10P20 are also seen in some nameplate. Here first digit 5, 10 represents allowable composite error. P represents the protection class and last digit 10, 20, etc. represents accuracy limit factor ALF. Accuracy class 5P10 means 5 stands for composite error, P stands for protection class, 10 stands for accuracy limit factor ALF. This means that current transformer CT will measure with less than 5% error when primary current is not bigger than 10 types of rated nominal current. This type of protection is generally used for overcurrent protection. Here metering class core 1 accuracy 0.2 Metering class accuracy according to metering subclasses as 0.2s, 0.2, 0.5s, 0.5, For metering core, allowable composite error should be minimum. Some city template contents 
ISF and ALF. ISF means instrument safety vector and it is applicable for metering class. In some cases, the primary current may be increased up to five times of rated primary current may damage the equipment connected. So, the manufacturer should mention the safety factor. Accuracy limit factor ALF used for protection class. TNP means the composite error will be within limits if the primary current increase up to 10 times of rated primary current. Some template carries I dynamic current, I dynamic current. Dynamic current means making current. It will be 2.5 times of short circuit current. Let's come at the knee point voltage. We have knee point voltage mentioned on the name plate as VK. These are the voltages applied across the secondary of the CT with all other CT windings open circuited. Beyond this knee point, increase of CT exciting current to 10% will increase CT secondary current to 50% and will initiate ratio error and increase ratio error of the CT. Here, knee point voltage for production cores are shown with respective maximum exciting current of 30 milliampere. Next thing is the maximum secondary winding resistance RSW resistance of secondary winding in ohm at 75 degree centigrade. It is mentioned as 8 ohm for all ratios and at protection course. Resistance of secondary winding and control cables is required for calculation of protection parameters. In the name plate, we see connection diagram where P1 and P2 is primary of the city and then in secondary there are five different cores of the city. In the table, we have two city ratios. One is 800 by 1 one 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 ampere and another is 400 by one 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 ampere we can use both ratios depending on the primary current flow in the city then we have secondary terminals to connect the secondary core with particular ratio for 800 ampere we have to connect the city secondary terminals to 1S1 and 1S3. Similarly, for 400 ampere, we have to connect with terminal 1S1 and 1S2. Terminal 1S1 stands for first core, 2S1 stands for second core, 3S1 stands for third core, 4S1 for fourth core, and 5S1 for 5th core. These are all parameters that are mentioned on the nameplate of a city. Please subscribe to the channel, like and share. Thank you for watching and hearing me for the last few minutes.